Callie, what are you doing? <laughs> you nut. Got some tie downs here that we're gonna use. We're gonna tie Shelby up in the back of the U-Haul, get her over to Two Wheels Heaven, and get some things working. We'll talk about that a little later. Also, a little treat Vantrue sent me to check out. We wanted to talk about it a little bit, show a little love to him. We got the Vantrue Dashcam X1 Pro, your ultimate driving partner. Let's get it. from 1440 to 108060. There's loop recording, G sensor. I'm gonna turn that off so it doesn't do random things. But in the case of an accident, G sensor would be very great. And loop recording. It records audio as well. There is parking mode. So you could have date time stamp, logo stamp, number stamp, speed stamp, and GPS location stamp. I'm gonna turn them all off though for video quality. They have a time-lapse feature as well. That's pretty dope. All right, that should be fun. Very easy system to work through. That's fun. It's got a good looking screen now. It's nothing fancy. It looks good, it's LCD. It has all the settings you need. It is not touch screen, which is unfortunate. I wish it was, but that's okay. It's very easy to navigate once you figure out what buttons are what. We got everything. I'm gonna go grab Chris and dip out. Later, Bish. Whoa! It's muggy out. It's a little overcast, but it's I. That's I. We rolling out with the homie Chris today. Checking out the Van True X1 today, just gonna throw it up here and get a little test footage and stuff to talk about later and see how it comes out. I feel like those Russian dash cam compilations. Sure, right? Well, I hope not. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> this one's got like the uh, extra USB deal. Oh, okay. okay. That's what's up. Blue, Blue light, power. We got the power. Good angle of everything, it's very wide. I have it in 1080 60, which it can do 4K, so it can do 1440p. But I have it in 1080 60 just because it's gonna be the native, it's gonna be what I'm using, so it'll be easier that way for the edits. Um, but I'm gonna check out both, we'll see what they both look like, so we'll see. Um, and it's just as soon as I plugged it in, it started recording. Uh, it's pretty simple, nothing difficult to it. And when you have it set up for loop recording, you just plug it in, let it go, it'll loop record every five minutes, or you can change the increments, as well as you can turn on features like the G Shock. So it'll loop record every five minutes and the only time it will ever save is if there's a like shock or trauma to the device and it will register that like if you get into an accident and save that footage automatically or you can just always have the loop record going for like five, 10, 15 minute increments and then click a button whenever you wanna save it as well. Uh, and it'll save the last 15 minutes or five minutes, etc. So it's pretty dope, we're gonna check it out. Where does it say to as like SD card on board or something? Yeah. Okay. Put a little SD card right in there. But we're at Credo, baby. I'm so ready for this coffee. Let's go. You're coming with me. I thought I was 
like watching. <laughs> You're like waiting for like what's gonna happen? This looks like the future. Bro. I mean, my dad will be there, and he's he's like huge, so like he could definitely help. I just didn't want to like force him into that. But you think if we had three people, we would definitely just pick it up and put it in. Me and one of them. Alright, I'm gonna call him and make sure that's cool with him before I like force him into that. Hey dad, how's it going? Um, I just wanted to give you a call and let you know we're going through with trying to get the bike picked up today. Okay. Thank you so much. So, here's the thing. I can either get a pickup truck, which is cheaper, and then we would just have to lift the bike up into the back of the truck between you, me, and Chris, which should be possible if you're willing to do that, or I can spend more money and get an actual U-Haul box truck that has a ramp, but I have to go with a 15-foot truck because that's the only one that has a ramp, so those are our two options. But I didn't want to just show up with the truck and be like, hey, try to pick this bike up with me and Chris. <laughs> Um, well, I don't know how much the bike weighs. It's it's uh, not too far over 400 pounds. Okay, well, as long as the three of us can get it up, that should be fine. Do you have tie downs and everything for those? Yeah, I got tie downs. All right, sounds good. All right, thank you so much, Dad. Love you. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye. I mean, this is the thing. Mikey lifted up an R6 by himself and like got into a truck. Like front end, um, and then had the friend grab it, and then like grab the back end and shove it up. Yeah, Mikey's a beast. He's an animal, bro. We're gonna head over to U-Haul. We're gonna pick up a truck so we can uh, throw the bike in the back of that, get it over to Two Wheels Heaven, and have them start working on things. I'll explain some more details uh, either on the way or there, whatever, later. We'll figure it out. Let's get it. Dash cam, let's go. Dash cam pops right on. All he did was start the car and it gets going, boy. Yeah. This is sick. Don't hit me, I got a dash cam. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. Dang, boy, we got that three-way accident, though. Uh-oh. Sucks to suck. <laughs> the heck is going on? Made it to U-Haul. Gonna roll out here. Snag one of these trucks. Ugh. So we're gonna try and just pick up a pickup truck from here, and then uh, roll over to my place. Me, my dad, Chris, we're gonna lift it up into the back and get it over to 2L7. Easy peasy. I can help you guys. How's it going, bud? I'm just trying to pick up a truck I got on reserve today. Pickup truck. Let me ask you, how did you make the reservation? Uh, phone call. Um, all right, so the problem with the call center is that they, so well. <laughs> yeah, they don't know, like, they can't see our schedule, oh, yeah, so sometimes they double book yeah, trucks. Sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I can do for you here. All right. Would you guys have something that has a ramp attached to it that's about the same? Not not crazy, but like literally just gonna move a motorcycle, so I don't need crazy huge if possible yeah. or whatever. But yeah, it's not your fault. No, no, no. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a 17 foot truck. All right. Uh, Getting uh, big boy. <laughs> uh, what's that gonna cost? I'll give it to you at the same rate. Cause awesome. That's not cool. your fault. Thanks so much, man. No problem. And it does have a ramp too, I assume. Yes. Cool. That one has a Even ramp. easier. Cool. And I'll pull your truck right up front. Awesome. There. Thanks so much, man. Cool. No problem. Hey, thanks, bud. You too. Ballin. So they didn't have a pickup truck for us, but they did upgrade us to a gigantic 17 foot, I think he said. Kept us at the same price as the pickup truck, which is cool. It's gonna be like 75 bucks. That's not too bad. It's cheaper than getting it towed, and I didn't have anybody who had a truck, so whatever. And the dash cam, of course. Here she is. We'll call her Bertha. Bertha? Big, big Bertha, right here. <laughs> Gave you this yellow stuff. It's gonna act as the registration for the truck. Gotcha. Hopefully you won't need it, but you never Hopefully. know. <laughs> we do live in Florida, and people drive kind of crazy. Yes, that <laughs> is the entire reason why the cameras are here. Oh, exactly. <laughs> all right, awesome. there you go. Well, you guys are all set. <laughs> Thank and you so much, bud. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. All right. We got a freaking baby Bertha here. Let's go. I gotta figure out how to unlock this for Chris. Oh, no. 
I don't know how to unlock this for Chris. Where's the unlock? Like, look. Don't. There's nowhere to unlock the doors. I'm just gonna pull on this. Got it. <laughs> I was like, dude, I don't know how to unlock this. What the heck? Let's go. We're in the U-Haul. Whoops. All right, homies. We made it to my parents' house. All we gotta do, get the bike loaded up in little Bertha, baby Bertha, and we're Gucci. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. There she is. She's a little dusty. Time to get homegirl out of the garage and at the shop. Let's go. in the back of the truck, strapped down, and we're on our way to Two Wheels Heaven. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Tell the people. It's hot. Hey, Memo, this is yeah. Jake. I'm just on my way over to your guys' place. I'll probably be there in about 40 minutes to drop the bike off, if that's cool. Okay. All right, cool, just giving you a heads up. I'm on my way, all right. Okay, later, bye. Later, bye. Yeah. Bye, squad. you learn about this yeah <laughs> not to mess that up <laughs> so just one fun fucking stupid yeah uh, yeah wheelie yeah yeah so yep. tell people <laughs> no wheelies boys <laughs> or you get this <laughs> <laughs> or do it right yeah or do it right for sure like, but anybody who does wheelie, wheelie they're gonna go down eventually they, yeah everybody there's I've, nobody oh, yeah. i know <laughs> that do for years and still no issue yeah Exactly. Oh look, they faded this, I guess. Wicked yeah, bangs so right there. Yeah. So they got us the uh, full tank cover here, full painted.
it was a success. We don't have any exact details on exactly how it's gonna go down financially or whatnot. The idea is Memo is gonna try his best to help me out on getting this bike up and running and into good condition, looking beautiful with the Wicked Fairings custom kit, which looks awesome, and just get her back into running shape. He's gonna look over Shelby, figure out exactly what needs to be done, exactly what it's gonna cost, and exactly how we can do that. And then we're gonna work towards that goal of getting her in condition so we can sell her. And I will put her up for sale, probably through Two Wheels Heaven, we will see. By the way, I will let you guys know where you can find her if you're trying to purchase it. We'll see how this turns out. We'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for hanging, guys. Nothing bunt cakes, bruh. Yo. Nothing bunt Killing cakes, bruh. It's so punny, it's bruh. So punny. It's too punny. Because they got bunt cakes. They got, oh, I get it now. Uh -huh. I get it now. <laughs> hey. I love it. I fucking love it.